Steve, thank you so very much for taking the time to meet with me today. Uh, I found it very interesting that you deal with gold and silver and I wanted to know a little bit more about you and your background uh, and then we can discuss this really exciting uh, way of investing and saving. Thanks very much, Amy. Um, and I appreciate the opportunity. I, I've been part of the commercial barter or commercial trade industry since 1994. I've launched and sold um, two commercial trade exchanges, most recently in 2010, a little trade network called the New Market Trade Network in Vancouver. Mm. Since 06, I've been writing a newsletter called Why Gold, Why Now? And specifically with a focus uh, towards silver and gold ownership, and that is physical silver and gold ownership. So you might call me a, a gold bug in that I truly believe that uh, gold and silver used in their proper form as money um, can help enable free enterprise, free market, and uh, keep the government and, and um, the interventionists, if you will, out of our lives and our businesses. And, and historically, gold and silver have been uh, the best form of money. And, mm -hmm. um, and uh, let's let history play itself out. But I, I'm convinced that they're, they're returning and the sovereign exchange is designed to help them return a little bit sooner. Excellent. So why did you start um, down this path and with this type of business? What, what was it? Well, at some point, uh, just about everyone who holds metal, gold and silver in investment grade form, the bars and the coins, uh, comes to a realization that uh, they're going to have to engage with it somehow. And that is spend it. Mm -hmm. And most silver and gold investors tend to hoard the metal uh, until such time that the dollars don't work and they're forced to bring it out from the mm -hmm. private vaults or from the, the hole that is buried in the ground and uh, look for an opportunity to, to trade with it or barter with it. Mm -hmm. The sovereign exchange is designed to enable that hard money investor, uh, the person I call a hard money investor, a physical investor, to engage with it directly and uh, contract with a landscaper or a dentist or a home builder or a custom furniture maker. There's all kinds of businesses in our exchange that that person can, can uh, buy from using his physical gold and silver today. The typical hard money investor uh, detests the idea of taking his physical metal back to a bank and putting what is private money back into the public. Mm -hmm. It also involves him responding to his accountant about some questions because often that broker or banker who buys the physical metal uh, issues a check or cash to him and he's forced to then return to the bank with that check or that cash and effectively put the money from the public, or whoops, the private, back into the public. So the sovereign exchange allows him to engage directly. He bypasses the bank or broker. He can put his metal into a treasury vault that we maintain, have his sovereign account credited, and then use his sovereigns anywhere in the network with any member of the exchange. The sovereign itself is a, a digital representation of a gram of silver. Okay. So the sovereigns flow electronically just like any other form of payment. But at any point, the sovereigns can be used, the sovereign account surplus can be used by the member to tender or exchange for the physical metal and allow the business owner, the dentist, the landscaper, the mechanic, to effectively settle for metal. Mm -hmm. 